Hey friend, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. I hope you're having a good week. If you are new and you just stumbled in, we thrift here. I live a thrifted life. I resell and I collect all kinds of stuff. So if that is something that interests you, please stick around, consider subscribing, adding a number to my channel, helps the channel grow, cost you nothing. <laughs> Today we are going to go thrifting. I'm gonna take you to the Akron Goodwill. Akron has an outlet side and a retail side, and we are gonna go shopping with my guy, Earth. Earth and I just came from his niece's birthday party on this day. We were there to pick up a set of tables because I had found them the day before. So we were there to pick those up and decided to check out what was over in the bins, the outlet side, and also did a quick stop over on the retail side. If you noticed behind me a big pile of things, that's because this week is the unlive sale. <laughs> if you've never taken part in an unlive sale, this happens tomorrow night. It will go live at 6 p.m. And this sale is a double up sale. So instead of 10 items, I'm bringing 20. <laughs> I don't know what got into me, but I just kept pulling cute things and I said, oh, maybe we'll just double it up this month. And that's what we're gonna do. So tomorrow, 6 p.m come and check out this stuff. Here's a quick preview of the things I'm bringing to the sale. Fun stuff. All right, before we go thrifting, I wanna just say a big, huge thank you and a shout out to my girl, Lisa. Lisa, you outdid yourself. I just got back from a weekend away. Earth booked us a campsite just outside of Chicago and we spent this whole past weekend in Chicago celebrating my birthday. <laughs> I got back to a package that was waiting for me from my friend Lisa. Oh my gosh. Now, I'm going to put this on for a brief minute. The house is warm. I'm running warm today. So I definitely don't need this beautiful thing on for the rest of the video, but I am going to put it on to show you how gorgeous it is. Now, I don't know, Lisa, is this cutout here meant for the front or is it meant to be a back design? I think it would look cool either way, right? I think I'm gonna put it on this way, just so y'all can see this beautiful detail. Oh my word, y'all. This is so beautiful, Lisa. I can't wait for the weather to change and for me to be able to throw this on and go out the door. It's so wonderful, look at the fringe. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I have been beyond blessed with her generosity. The first thing that she sent me was a snood. I didn't even know what a snood was, but I wear it all the time. It's in my favorite raspberry color. And the second thing she sent me was this beautiful lemon yellow beret that she actually named the Amy beret. And now this, so my gosh, right? Um, yeah, I'm gonna take this off. I'm already starting to. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lisa. This was an amazing little birthday surprise for me to come home to. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you. I'm gonna let it decorate my office chair here. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, now let's go check out the Akron Goodwill bins. Earth and I are over on a Saturday. He's right out there <laughs> at the bins. Um, just came from a birthday party and just started looking. Found a couple of things that I put in my cart. One is this brand new oil and vinegar dipping set. They're super cute. I just checked them out. Everything is in there and I may get that. And then I found this little Napco wall plaque. Oh no. What do you, what do you got? Got me another driveway alert system for my shop. Oh right nice. Everything's there. Good job. Side, the alarm is there. Nice. Yeah, it looks like it's been sitting for me. Here, let me tell you what it'll cost. A buck. <laughs> if that. I know. 
What else did you find? Those uh, are these, old. These are lights. These are, these are extended lights for like older cameras, Mag yeah. Magic Cube cameras. Never been, never, never used. The box. Did you look them up? I wonder yeah. if there's uh, any value to them. I don't know. And it's here. Check it out. This is Amazon stuff here, but. Amazon? Yep. Uh, grizzled solar string lights. String lights. Oh, the little tiny fairy lights? Yes, sir. Oh, those kind. Okay. With solar. Solar. Nice. Rechargeable. Better not. Nice. So, how, so, how do you approve of these finds? So I far. approve of these finds. Sounds right. <laughs> good. Before you came over here, I was going to show you this little map go. It's a train. And it has one tiny little, teeny tiny little chip right here. But these are the kind of things I find over here. And I'm like, oh, this is not going to last in the bins. So maybe I should save it. I'll look it up and see what uh, it might be going for. But. And I just now grabbed this little mug because it's a gnome and it's St. Patrick's Day. And it's in really nice, like new condition. I don't see any wear or tear on it. So oh, I just saw another little ding over here on this plaque. Uh, I don't know about that. It's cute though. We just picked up two tables that I found here yesterday. They are designer tables by Lou Hodges. They are in the truck. They have a nice 24-hour uh, pickup policy. That almost looks like a Fiesta wear plate. Yes, it is. I see the F in that dark purple. I wonder if this is a color that my mom has. Is that a damage there? I don't think it's damaged. I'll put this in the cart and send a picture to mom. My mom's dishes are Fiesta Ware and she has open shelves in the kitchen where she stacks all of the colorful plates and bowls. It looks amazing. So I was pretty tickled to see this purple one sitting there in the bins. These on their own, depending on the color and depending on whether they have been discontinued, can do really well. So when you find one, look it up because if it is in a discontinued color, one plate can be pretty valuable. And this one I don't think is discontinued, but mom says she doesn't think she has purple. So this is gonna go over to her. It has one little utensil scratch across it, which is fine because most of her plates do because we use them. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty awesome find. I just peeked down in here and saw this Hall Brown Drip Bowl. I have these. I would have grabbed this if it wasn't damaged. It's got a little chip there, which is unfortunate because the rest of it looks like it was never used. Oh, oh, oh I'm still tempted, but I can't. And I just saw this, and this looks like it might be Oaxacan. It is signed. Is this a Cherokee? 1968. Isn't that neat? Oh no. Also broken. What the heck? Not good. I feel like I might grab that anyway. I don't know. When I first caught a glimpse of this, I thought it was Oaxacan, which is a pottery made in Mexico, Oaxaca, Mexico. And then when I flipped it over, I saw that it said Cherokee on the bottom. And that's pretty cool. It also has a date, looks like 1968, and it's signed. Now, when I did a little bit of research, I learned that this is female made by Louise Big Meat. I know it's a weird name, but if you look her up, some of her pieces do really well. Now you saw there that this one has a little hole in it, right? But I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna use a little bit of black poly. I'm gonna fill it in and I'm gonna bake it and you probably won't even be able to tell. There will be no hole. <laughs> look at how beautiful this is. You can see arrowheads pressed in here 
and it looks like shamrocks across the bottom more little arrowheads it's beautiful a little pitcher in a similar pattern sold for around seventy dollars so if you find these look for that sometimes it'll say just big meat sometimes it'll say l big meat and then she was married and later in life she was louise big meat manny i think m-a-n-e-y so all of that information is probably good if you want to keep an eye out for these in perfect condition i'd probably list this for 50 ish dollars just because it's chipped unfortunately it might have to stay with me <laughs> <laughs> or I will sell it somewhere down the road in a Yoso loved sale because I do have lots of things that I need to fix and y'all seem to like to rehome the things that I put a little love into so that's a possibility too. Little cobalt blue. I feel like my mom might have one of these. This one's perfect. And at 39 cents a pound, this probably costs like 10 cents. I might grab that. I think my mom may have something similar to this. She also looks for very unique things at this point because she has a pretty big collection. So I'll have to ask her if this is unique enough to add or if she already has something like this, if we can put it in a future sale here. It's a pretty piece. We love the really dark glass like this, too. What's this? Oh, that's to the top of this, maybe? That looks contemporary. It's missing a gasket. Oh, and it's broken. See that? Darn. It's broken on the tip, too. I'm crying a little bit right now. Look at this. I believe this is Royal Copley. I thought maybe this is something I could fix. Then I noticed that his head had been reattached. And then I had noticed that this whole thing is broken and repaired. And he's got chips on that side. Oh gosh. I'm so sad about that. I'm so sad about that. All right, what is happening here? Is this little chicken <laughs> gonna meet its demise? Or are they doing some sort of like chicken Tai Chi? <laughs> What's happening here? And Marco. I don't know, it's not well painted, but I had to share it. <laughs> oh wait, what? There's another, <laughs> he's like really badly repaired, see all the glue? They're like a little matching chicken Tai Chi couple. Oh, kind of hope somebody saves them. I just looked down in here and I found this guy. <laughs> little winking owl. I'm gonna really have to check him over. But then I was like, oh man, there's always only one of these. And so I started digging around in there. And look, I found his brother, the other Winky Owl. I'm gonna have to look him over real well, but looks like we have a set. Those guys have some age. There's some blue on them, but I think it, yeah, I think it's just gonna come right off. Look how cute they are. <laughs> From my lookups, it looks like these are made by Shawnee. I could tell that they were USA pottery because they are hefty. It's just an easy rule of thumb. If it's lightweight, it's probably from Japan because it made it easier for them to ship a bunch of stuff over, made it lighter and easier to ship it. Um, the heavier, more robust things, USA made because they didn't care what they weighed, right? These are adorable. They need little stoppers and I have those. And I think these will probably show up here in a future sale. Unless there's an owl collector, like I've said before, who sees these and absolutely needs them. Then, of course, you could email me and let me know. You can do that for anything that you see. Just send me an email. Let me know you need it. That includes things that are on eBay, by the way. 
Email me. I forget what these are called. See this guy down in here, his funny face. Little leprechaun. Authentic Blarney Stone. Finians. Yeah, does he have any breakage? I don't see anything. Look at his weird hands. <laughs> I think we'll probably look him up. I don't know what he's doing. He's like climbing over a rock. He's twerking, maybe. Maybe he's twerking. He's got his butt up in the air. We don't know. <laughs> He is very funny and he is perfect for, again, in the spring, St. Patrick's Day. It looks like some of these that are listed go for a bit better than others. So you gotta just look him up. If I should list him on eBay, that's probably where he'll go. Or he will stick around and I'll bring him to a sale. I just noticed how wonky his eyeballs are. I think he's been drinking. It is a switch out. So all of these people are waiting to jump on those new bins. They just switched out like half the room, so it's going to be a little crazy here in a second. I'll let you know what we find. We are sitting kind of out of the way doing a cart assessment. This is the kind of thing that we do. Just pick up things, look them up. Earth actually had a good find. He's counting the chess pieces here to a... Radio Shack, vintage Radio Shack computer uh, chess board. If all the pieces are there, that's awesome because 32. 32, excellent. That's that's the right number. Um, the seltzer rate on this is really great. Eight, eight. So yay, that's probably going to be our best friend. I think that's between 30 and 40 dollars, and the seltzer rate is um, well over 100. percent So awesome, awesome. I'm looking up this. This is some sort of skate tool um this is really cool so yesterday we were here and i got a bunch of cds somebody had like folders full of cds good stuff and they didn't have them in cases they had them you know in the binders but they did have the cd and the cover art so i have now a bunch of cases brand new that i can put those cds into and put Double them check. in my collection they're all there awesome so we're going to assess, look up some stuff, and I will come back and show you what we ended up with. There were a couple other things in that cart that I didn't point out, but I do want to share with you. I found a nice older Halloween cutout. Isn't he cool? It does not have a date on it, but what I liked about it were these little kind of neon mushrooms down there. So a little too late for Halloween this year, but... I don't know. Maybe I'll hold on to him until next year. And this guy, how great is he? So he is one of those plastic crafts that somebody made. And he's got a little hook on him so that he can be hung. Little Rudolph in that vintage look. I love it. Probably will show up in a future sale here. And then this I thought was beautiful. Now, I searched and searched for the middle part of this because it is a beautiful wooden tiered tray. So I need like the separator for this little tidbit dish. It is a real walnut, vermilion walnut. Um, so it is a nicer, older piece. And the condition is just amazing. That's why I grabbed it, actually, because the condition was so perfect. But I imagine these are easy to find right? The little metal piece that goes in there. And then I think it would be really easy to ship too, because I can send it like this with the uh, metal piece separate. So I will be looking for the tidbit part, <laughs> the tidbit bit <laughs> to be able to put it together. And I'm confident I can find that. All right, y'all. I'm such a sucker. <laughs> I just can't leave them here. We're gonna do something with him. His silhouette is just too good. I feel like he needs saved. And then this is what we got. So pretty decent cart uh, load of stuff. I think we're ready to get out of here.
Are we ready to get out of here? Yeah. Yep. Let's go. How many of you guessed that I was going to go back and get him? Were you yelling at me when I set him down and walked away? <laughs> because when he was still sitting over there, I couldn't help it. They were going to switch out the bins again. I just had this thought that he was going to go to the landfill and I could not let that happen. Oh, somebody really did a number on him. He was dropped and look at how bad he was repaired. And this piece was broken in several pieces. You can see the cracks down in here. But somebody took the time to glue it. And they didn't do that bad a job. If you're displaying it like this, you really can't even see this big crack here. I mean, you could see this for sure. <laughs> his neck is really whacked. Um, he's also missing a little piece of his ear. He's missing a little chunk here. He's also missing a little chunk here. I mean, he is really busted, but I feel like I was the right person to find him that day. And I feel like we can do something to make him whole again. I'm envisioning something around his neck, like maybe a floral wreath or something decorating him. Um, I can fix the ear. I can fix this here. Although I was thinking maybe a little flower here too would be cute. Um, and then maybe even the inside of this, I can put some poly in, smooth it out, fill the little cracks. I don't know. I'm up for the challenge and uh, we'll see how he comes out. Like I said before, I've got a whole project pile. So there's lots of things to fix. I didn't forget about those of you who've asked me for things. <laughs> They've been sitting in that project pile. It's just been, I've been so busy, but I'm gonna have to sit down and do these projects. And of course I will share with you a project video um, when I do that. Probably have to do that soon. He'll be in it. Let's go over to the retail side for just a brief minute, see what's over there over here on the uh, retail side. I just picked up this piece of glass. It has a beautiful pulled feather. Sure looks like the bottom's cobalt. So mom will have first dibs. It is made by Kateness. It's a tiny little sticker I had to zoom in on. It does have a little bit of damage. So you see inside the lip there. But it only shows some flea bites on the top and the outside is really pretty so we're definitely gonna grab that i about jumped out of my skin when i saw this sitting on the shelf you did not see me pick it up because honestly we were tired we were gonna leave and i convinced earth to go over for just a quick look so i didn't want to film too much and take up too much more time so i grabbed this off the shelf when i saw this beautiful pulled feather here on the bottom now you can see how deep that blue is call that cobalt <laughs> and my mom collects it and she likes unique things now I don't know if this is going to be too unique for her but we'll find out uh, I haven't shared it with her yet <laughs> so mom <laughs> what do you think it's beautiful it has its original sticker on here it was made in Scotland by Kateness I think I'm pronouncing that right now it almost looks like somebody had it hanging or something um because it's it's got some damage, but it's in the exact place on the other side. So it almost looks like something metal was put in there and attached for it to hang. I don't know. I don't know who would do that. <laughs> but yeah, it's got these little flea bites over here and one little one over here. Um, it displays so beautifully, though. So doesn't bother me. I had to pick it up regardless. And yeah. Gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. I also found this cute little chunky little snail. You may have peeped him in the unlive sale because that's where he is. And he is brilliant. I have not been able to find him. His shape, his form is so great. He reminds me of the videos with the little snails that they feed. They're so cute. He is in this sale along with a bunch of other stuff that I was gifted by my friend Vivian and some other things that you might see next week. 
because some of these things came out of a big bins and retail haul from next week when I go shopping with my mom and my aunt. Definitely check out this stuff tomorrow night. Still in the blue over here, I found this cute little votive holder. It's a pretty textured cobalt for $2. So I'm grabbing that in case mom wants that. And then this, I need to check it over. I think it's perfect. But this is a blue sky birthday cake. And it looks like these with the base plate, 25 to $30. What do they have on this? $4. So I think we will grab that. And that my friends completes today's adventure. Before I say goodbye, I just want to say a big shout out to my viewer friend in Saskatchewan, Canada, who thrifted this exact same top and told me about it after they watched the video last week. I too do not know <laughs> why the ruffles only go on the bottom. It's quite scandalous, <laughs> but I love it. It's a great shirt and it's super comfy, just like you said. So thanks for reaching out. That was a cool comment. I told you I'd be wearing it very soon. So I had to do that. All right, everybody. I will see you tomorrow for this sale or on Thursday for a new video where I will be shopping at a Goodwill with my friend Marty. So join us then. Until then, please take care. See you then.